Hey guys, I'm just parked outside a gas station here and I thought I'd do an off, off the cuff video regarding uh, astigmatism classification. Very important concept to be able to uh, make sure that you have studied up on for your NCLE. So there are two primary types of astigmatism. There are regular astigmatism. So regular astigmatism is when the two principal meridians or the strongest power and the weakest power are 90 degrees apart from one another. That's your most common type of astigmatism. Most astigmatism is regular, um, but there's also irregular astigmatism. And that's when your two principal meridians, your steepest, your flattest curve, when they're not 90 degrees apart from one another. Examples of that might be um, if someone has keratoconus or if they have some sort of a corneal issue or post-surgical issue, um, then they may have an irregular cornea translating into irregular astigmatism. Once again, principal meridi meridians not 90 degrees apart from one another. Within regular astigmatism, we have different classifications such as with the rule astigmatism. With the rule astigmatism is when the steepest meridian or the greatest power falls along the 90 degree axis, which is your vertical axis, or 30 degrees on either side of it. So um, within that range. Against the rule astigmatism, which is not as common as with the rule, is when the greatest power or the steepest curve falls along the 180 degree axis or within 30 degrees of that range. Oblique astigmatism is another type of regular astigmatism which does not fall within the with the rule or against the rule axis. So it's in between those. It falls at those oblique meridians. So we also have other subclassifications of astigmatism. There's simple myopia. Simple myopia is when you have a plano power at one major meridian and a minus power at the other major meridian. An easy way to see if something's simple myopic or compound myopic is to transpose the prescription. An example of simple myopia might be Plano negative one axis 180. When we transpose that, we get negative one plus one axis 90. Well, if you look at both of your sphere powers in that, you see a Plano and a minus one. So again, you have Plano and a negative, that's simple myopia. Compound myopia is when both major meridians are minus power. Example might be negative two, negative two, axis 180. When we transpose that, our new sphere power is negative four. So we have negative two at 180 and negative four as our strength along the 90 degree meridian, compound myopia. Next, we can do simple hyperopia, and it's just the exact opposite of simple myopia. So simple hyperopia is when we have a plus powered sphere power at one meridian, like plus one, um, let's say plus one, uh, negative one, axis 180. Here's a tricky one, plus one, negative one, axis 180. Well, we have plus one at 180, that's the strength at 180, when we transpose that, a plus one and a minus one becomes Plano at our other major meridian. So that'd be Plano at axis 90, plus one and Plano as our two powers. So you know that is simple hyperopia. Compound hyperopia, a little more simple and straightforward. Well, that's confusing. Compound hyperopia is an example might be plus one, plus one, axis 20. So when we transpose that, we get plus two for our other major meridian. So you have plus one and plus two, and the axis for that would be what, 110. Lastly, we have mixed astigmatism. And just as you would guess, that's when you have a minus power at one major meridian and a plus power at the other major meridian. So an example might be minus one plus two axis 180 when we transpose that we get plus let's see i said minus one plus two so when we transpose that we get plus one minus two axis 90. so the minus one and the plus one for for our two sphere powers when we transpose it that tells us that it's mixed astigmatism 
I hope this quick review was helpful as you study. Um, definitely follow the channel, share it, like it, and I'll try and bring you more relevant content that will help you to become a better eye care professional and to better prepare for your NCLE examination. Thanks.